Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. And welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Fast 30 minutes, wasn't it? Fast, fast, fast 30 minutes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dave Gabbard, my co-host for this segment. Our first show for 2018. Yes, Got my buddy Gene Smith across from me. Of course, Greg Ratliff behind the control panel in there. Kind of, it's kind of like a uh, old Star Trek movie. In yeah, there. it does. Got all them, all them levers and stuff. Phasers yeah. are set to stun. Yeah. All right, Captain. <laughs> I'm giving her all she's got. We're not going to make it. And, uh, but, uh, <clears throat> but uh, we talked to Larry. Larry's not in the studio today. We let Larry go deer hunting again because this is the last weekend. Of the uh, gun season, regular gun season. Of course, you know the next uh, five days between Monday and Friday, we have a private, you know, antler this landowners type, you know, deal. And we'll be talking to Daniel Stanfield a little later in the program and talk about all that. Also, a youth hunt. Don't we have a late youth hunt? Yeah. We have another, another one more youth hunt. But uh, uh, let's talk ducks a little yeah, bit. Quack quack. Got my good buddy up there at Halls, Tennessee, Jeff Martin. Jeff, you with us? I'm with you, brother. And uh, I was just remarking earlier in the show to uh, Gene over here that for the past probably seven, eight days, have have we cut our ice eaters off? No. Uh, I didn't think eight so. Eight straight days. And they've been running. I knew they'd been running seven or eight straight days. And, uh, uh, you know, pumping, the, you know, a lot of gasoline. You know, yeah. hire those things. So, uh, but this time of year when it gets cold, if if you want to kill some ducks, you got to have that yeah, water open. To you, That's yeah. right. And, uh, but uh, and Jeff is not only you know duck hunter extraordinaire, but uh, you know he's our air manager up at Real Foot, and uh, he's got Black Bayou Refuge up there. That uh, how many ducks are you holding up there at Black Bayou right now? Today we're holding between eighty and ninety thousand, depending on what time of day you look at it. Right. Which is, uh, but we're able to keep some open water with our underground uh, pumping system, so uh, we have a little bit of an advantage. Right, and uh, and I know, and you're like me when it gets this cold and freezes, and up north uh, when it freezes up. You get to see more different species of ducks. I know in the last week or so, uh, a lot of divers, you know, what I call a, a, lot, a lot of canvasbacks and bluebills and redheads and, and uh, ringnecks. Uh, any golden eyes? Have you seen a golden eye yet? I, I've seen a pair. Okay. Uh, we weren't lucky enough to get them, but we did see a pair of buffalo heads. And, uh, uh, it's been it's been really interesting. I know at the office the other day looking out there on Lake Graham where the open water of course, lots of Canada geese out there, but a lot of ruddy ducks, you know, and buffalo heads, you know, a lot of little divers and stuff that uh, uh, where they've got open water, they're going to be. So, but uh, the uh, uh, how thick is the ice up there in, uh, in front of our blind right now? In front of our blinded halls, we've got about three inches of ice. Okay. Uh, so. The dogs, the retrievers love it. They can run around, pick stuff up, and never <laughs> yeah. get wet. Yeah, you go. And, uh, so it's, uh, yeah, and uh, you can throw a hockey puck out there, and they can even play <laughs> hockey while they're doing it out there. But uh, and, uh, real foot's got uh, four to six inches of ice on it right now. And because uh, I know I've seen some, you know, holes that that kind of was, you know, where the water got up and fell out. Oh yeah. You know, and that ice was, you know, looked like four or three or four inches mm -hmm. thick. So, you know, it's going to take a little while for this ice to disappear. And uh, I know you're dreading it like I am that when it starts breaking loose, uh, we're probably going to have to reset our bunch of decoys. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it, it, ice is always always causing problems. And always a big ice right. shelf will break loose and just wipe out all the decoys and and, uh, the main, main thing is everybody is very careful in this cold weather with all this ice. Uh, little problems become big problems real quick. Right, and uh, because uh, you don't know uh, until you take a, a accidental face plant, <laughs> you know, out there in that cold water. You know, we're lucky enough, the people that 
been our blind up there that's done it. You know, we've got the gas heat and everything where, and we keep dry clothes and stuff in the it, blind it that they can strip off back there and and uh, get changed and uh, get get by the heaters and stuff. So, uh, but uh, so you know, a lot of people maybe not understand. You know, a couple of weeks ago, uh, you know, we had a break outbreak of avian cholera. You know, right. a little in West Tennessee, but uh, that was before the rain set in, and uh, I bl- I'm and probably. Uh, you're like me, what you're seeing now, between all the high water we got that flushed the system and now that came in and iced the system. So, uh, that's, that's, you probably, we're, we, I'm going to make a safe bet that, you know, we probably won't see any more outbreaks. In, uh, oh, yeah, hopefully not. It was primarily snow geese and blue geese that it was affecting. And, uh, but, uh, uh, another thing up in, uh, your, Part of the country up there at Real Foot, a lot of people, you know, if they're not interested in waterfowl, uh, but, you know, a lot of people come up on Black Bayou just to drive through and look at the waterfowl, but uh, the eagles, yeah. you know, right. it's, it's yeah, eagle uh, time. Yeah, and the eagles are very active. I mean, they're not hard to find now with all the ducks and geese. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and the lake itself with the ice on, uh, it looks like uh, the Emerald City in the Wizard of Oz right now. It's yeah. a pretty sight. And, uh but it's uh yeah and like we said it can uh it's one of those things if you if you're going to venture out of course a lot of blinds that I know people that sized in you know they're just say hey we're not going back out right. till it yeah. you know till it thaws out and kind of have to reset so uh but uh most duck hunters I know they look forward to the last two weeks of the season anyway and uh and of course you know for our listeners out there you know the we go through to the last Sunday in January, which is January the 27th uh, this year. So, uh, and then the next weekend we have a youth hunt. So, uh, but, uh, well, we sure take uh, pleasure in having you join us this morning, Jeff. And uh, Well, you know, we're just getting started this morning and uh, moving some ice eaters around and stuff. Hopefully have a good, well, it'll be a pretty day anyway and be with good friends. Yeah. Well, that's one, of, that's one of the good things about, you know, having ice and stuff like that. Uh, if you know what, the, for the duck behavior, there's no need to get there to crack a dawn, <laughs> you right. know, a lot of times. You know, come on in the middle of the day and kind of get set up because what I've seen, uh, a lot of times the ducks are not flying till the afternoons anyway. Right. That's and, right. Uh, How many hunters you have up there today, Jeff? Uh I'll have ten today. Okay. Okay. I had I had a, a group of soldiers yesterday. Uh, They're fixing to be deployed in a couple weeks to Syria, and we want to wish those guys our best and thank them for their service. But they had a good time and got to kill some ducks, so everything's good. Well, good. Well, well, y'all stay warm up there. All right, you too, Dave. Okay, and we'll be talking with you. All right, and, uh, Jeff Martin. Or my cohort up there out of the Taj Mahal up there in Halls, Tennessee. But Jeff, like, he's our area manager at Real Foot up there for our wildlife management area. But that's, you know, people talk about our blind, you know, and we we probably had that blind in, in that lease for 25 years or so. Yeah. And uh, and we do that, you know. We, we, we like we said, we, we do a, invite people in, like, Oh, excuse me. Like those soldiers, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah the ladies and, and the kids. That, that ladies, the, kids. The scholastic clay shooters up and, there uh, one time. And so little hodgepodge of people that uh, maybe never got to go duck hunting. Exactly, yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But it makes it makes it a little easier up there with our layout. Right. Well, that's know? the thing. When you, what Like a, a, a man's been hunting all his life and he gets a youngster who wants to hunt. Don't make him get out here and get cold. Oh, yeah. If, and, if he gets cold, he's not going to like it. Uh, if I had to go duck hunting back the way I was raised duck hunting in the down here in West Tennessee, I don't think I'd still be duck hunting. Right. You know, but. Yeah, uh, don't don't let them get cold. Don't get them too big a gun. They can't shoot. Right. And get, and, get uh, them scared because that's the worst so, thing. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, and with the youth hunt coming up, you know, some of the youngsters we have in there, uh, some of those little rascals are pretty good on duck oh, calls. Yeah. We'll sit back and oh, let really? them work yeah. the ducks. 
you know, and everything. But uh, it's uh, and it's it's funny that uh, people will be sitting there in the blind and out there, and and Jeff will be calling and stuff, and they're up and down, up and down, up and down. I told a group one time. I said, "Y'all just stay seated." I said, "Listen to Jeff call when he starts getting softer." And everything cutting a little bit. I said, when you see him reach down and put his hand on his gun, yeah, then he's up into the shooting right. hole, because until then, you know, it's it's not getting serious, right? And uh, but uh, but yeah, it's a uh, with all this water we had uh, uh, that got out, you know, several weeks ago. One of the few times with the fork of deer up there that you know, because we're right off the fork of deer. Had a levee break down the river and the water come in the old river run, mm-hmm. and we actually had water come up in the back of the blind. Oh wow! Which is which is really really strange. Yeah. Well, the good and, thing about the cold weather it pushed a lot of ducks down. Yeah, with all it the has. When, when it gets north. this cold down here, above the Ohio River up there, yeah, uh, and over in Missouri and stuff, it's locked up. Uh, we get and, and with, that's why we get all these divers, right? You know the canvas backs and the and the bluebills and stuff. So. I hear music. Yep, that time. And I again. see Greg nodding his head. So I guess it's time for take you break. to get up and go get another coffee, take a break, and come back for the next segment of Outdoors with Larry Wright. Don't 